Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by today. This is going to be your June 2022 reading. In today's reading, I am going to be taking a look at what the energies are regarding how this eclipse, this recent eclipse, is going to be affecting you in the month of June. So we just had this full moon eclipse in Scorpio. And the thing about the eclipses is that energy actually stays with us for months and months. Um, and if you have been with the channel for a while, then you know that I have been talking about these eclipses in Taurus and Scorpio. Um, they're not going to end until the end of 2023. So this energy is just very transformative. And I want to take a look today and see what may be happening for you. Okay. Um, I have a huge, um, a pretty huge announcement to make on um, you will notice that I have been away from the channel for well over a month, and it's simply because I've been focused on other things. Um, you guys, I am going to pin a comment with a timestamp, so if you're not interested in this, um, then just uh, go to the beginning of the reading, okay? Hit the timestamp, and that'll get you there. Um, I've been going through a lot of changes. If you've been with me from the beginning, then you know that things have changed dramatically over time. I've grown, I've evolved. Everything has really changed. I started off doing my videos off camera. Now I'm on camera. I started off doing love readings. Now I do general readings. Um, and my services and everything has changed. My abilities have changed. Um, my focus has changed. Um, so I want to just share with you what's going on and what to expect in the future. Um, you know, I don't have the time to dedicate to my channel like I used to. And um, at this point, I'm not sure, you know, what it's going to look like going forward. I may be able to get one video a month for you guys. Um, maybe two. I don't know. Um, but it's going to be quite limited because I have so many other things going on. I am shifting away from the one-off sessions and I'm moving into a coaching model. So I'm now identifying as a spiritual life coach and what that means is I really want to work with people on an ongoing basis. And many of you I have, um, many of you I've known for years and I've done several readings for you. And I love those relationships. I treasure those relationships. And so coaching is really just a commitment. It is basically saying, yeah, I wanna break through the obstacles in my life so that I can move on to, you know, fulfill my dreams, achieve my goals. That is what coaching helps you do um, because we're able to really like drill down and get to the nitty gritty of it and really look at, you know, how your mindset or um, your patterns, your behaviors, um, your conditioning, all of these things are setting you up to for self-sabotage or setting you up to see the same results over and over again. Um, so what I do is I create, um, along with my clients, we work to create breakthroughs for people. And the coaching um, packages that I offer, um, relationships. So if you seem to be attracted to the same type of person over and over and over, we look at that, okay? If you're in a relationship that you're unfulfilled, um, you feel like there's a disconnect, uh, we work on that too. We look at what's causing the disconnect. Is it a different love language? Is it your attachment style? Is it your um, partner's attachment style? And I also work with um, married couples and, or those of, those of you who are married, and you know if you've been drifting apart or you want to deepen intimacy with each other, we address all of those things. All of my programs are customizable. I mean, they're really. Um, created for each individual in mind. I also work on um, mindset coaching 
and small business consulting. So for those of you that want to start a business or you have started a business and you're looking for an unbiased opinion, someone to guide you um, through the steps of, you know, really taking your business, putting it on the map and taking it to the next level, I'm now offering that service as well. Um, so anyway, uh, the programs that I have available, it's a minimum of a four week commitment. And so ideally we would meet once a week for four weeks. And I'll tell you, you guys, um, the clients that I'm working with right now, it's like some of them have had dramatic like epiphanies and shifts from session one to session two. It's like they're showing up and they're unrecognizable. They're more confident. It's so rewarding. It's just so rewarding. I love doing this. And so it just makes sense that this is part of my evolution. Um, and so anyway, um, I don't know, I'm rambling on and on, but I wanted to let you know this because my calendar is getting booked up and so I'm gonna have less and less time for my spiritual guidance sessions. Um, those are the intuitive tarot oracle sessions. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know that. Also, if you are interested in coaching with me, uh, you can go to my website, um, wakenwithnancy.com, and I'll pin a comment down below with all the links and everything. But you can go to my website and you can book a complimentary discovery call. So essentially it's a 15 minute call and you can ask me all the questions that you have and you know I can ask you questions and see if it might be a good fit. Um, it's not, a coaching is not a magic pill. It's like the client has to do work. I do give people homework. Um, it's a team effort to create lasting change. Um, all right, lastly, you guys, uh, because you guys are so loyal and you've been with me so long, I have a special offer for you that I wanted to share and it is $100 off any coaching program if you are interested in that. So my my four week program is $600, so it would be $500. And that gets you four one-on-one -on -one hour sessions with me plus support via email and text in between sessions if you need that, okay? Um, and also, oh, you guys, you can, I'm sorry, I'm so rusty. You can use um, the code YouTube100 at checkout. So it's YouTube and then the number is 100 at checkout if you're interested in that. And I did also want to let you guys know that the code um, for 20% off my spiritual guidance readings is still in effect. So if you want to book a reading with me, you can get 20% off. Okay, I'm done. Let's get with it. <clears throat> thank you for those of you that I didn't lose. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to share all of that with you. Uh, I feel it's important to just be transparent and, and let you guys know that things are changing and shifting for me as I'm sure they are for you. Oh, I love it. I love it. So we're starting off with a full moon energy and it's a full moon in Capricorn. Um, so it's a fellow earth sign, which is interesting. And it says the end of a tough cycle approaches. And so if you've been going through it and you just feel like nothing is working, um, that's about to shift you know the eclipses really have a way of you know wiping the slate clean in a way it's about sweeping out those things that are no longer serving us so that a new path can open up and this is exactly what i'm feeling for you so i love this and if you're on the cusp of aries um their messages were really about you know things are coming to fruition new doors are opening they are burning away the past and i'm feeling the same thing for you taurus so if you're on the cusp you may want to take a look at that video let's see what else is coming in 
we've got Neptune and it is Sacrifice. Um, this is my astrology deck and I'm going to refer to the guidebook, you guys, because I'm not sure what this is. Um, Neptune is sort of a, it's, it's really a planet of like illusion, okay? And this is a number 10, which corresponds to the Wheel of Fortune. Um, if we reduce it down again, it's the number one. So that's a new beginning. So what I'm really feeling is there may be a sacrifice that you need to make in order to bring forth this new beginning. That's really what's coming through for me. Oh yeah, absolutely. So this um, this card corresponds to the Seven of Cups, and the Seven of Cups is all about having a lot of different options, but having a lot of options can really create confusion, and it, it can be like a daydreamy energy as well, okay, being, being stuck in your daydreams. Um, so what I'm really feeling is that you're going to have to make a choice. You're going to maybe have to sacrifice or give up something and just go for that one thing. You can't have all seven cups. You must make a decision and you are, um, you know, it's recommended to choose very wisely. wisely. Think um, long and hard about what you're choosing because you're gonna to have to forego all of those other choices. So that is the sacrifice that's coming in um, for you. It's about you know choosing the best option for yourself. Um, the Neptune card can be about escapism, um, but it can also be about communication with higher realms. Um, <clears throat> let's see what this says. Yeah, hazy and indirect energy. Yeah, yeah. So it's really, um, it's not clear. It's not clear at all what may need to be sacrificed. Um, you guys, I'm rusty. I'm tired. <laughs> Ooh, we've got the lunar god coming through for you and this is the masculine so this is very much about that masculine energy now it does not wow this guy looks powerful this guy looks so powerful i'm sorry about the glare gosh Yeah, he looks super powerful. So this is about um, being in that masculine energy, whether you're a man or a woman, we all have masculine and feminine energies, um, and really just going for it. Um, you know, the masculine energy is about taking action, it's about logical thinking, um, and it's about problem solving, and, you know, moving forward. And so this is what it is. Now, with this coming in next to the Neptune sacrifice, sacrifice card, what I feel is that you are gonna find the clarity that you need. You are going to be able to make a decision, make a choice, choose from one of those seven cups and um, be okay with your decision and just kind of continue moving on, moving forward on your path rather. Okay, this is interesting. Two cards came through, but I think I'm going to go with, um, well, I'll read them both to you. These are the archetype cards. And so this is the archetype, Taurus, that you may be embodying in June. And we've got child, magical. Isn't that cool? I love it. And what this says, the light attribute is seeing the potential for sacred beauty in all things. The belief that everything is possible. I love that this is coming through next to the masculine because the masculine energy, again, is about doing, 
You know, it's about taking action. And with this childlike energy, this magical energy, it's um, it's going to be easy to take action because you're going to believe that everything is possible. And there's this quote by Audrey Hepburn, um, and she says, um, "Nothing is impossible." The very word says, "I'm possible." I just love that, you guys. Absolutely love that. Um, so this is really, with this child card coming through, this really is about um, going back, going back to, um, you know, sort of like a clean slate, going back to that childlike mind when everything was possible. It's almost like unlearning everything that you've learned, not everything, but um you know, the, the belief systems that you've inherited, things like that, um, the, um, the negative conditioning, the limiting belief systems, all of that. It's like going back to a beginner's mind and just seeing things with fresh eyes, with, like, with childlike wonder. That's really what it's about. I love it. So the more open that you can be in the month of June, I feel like you could be experiencing some magic. Just be open. Be open to experiencing magic. There you go. Be open to magic. Third eye chakra. This is a number six. Um, and this is about balance. So with the third eye chakra, you guys, this is all about intuition and seeing without sight. So it's a different kind of vision. Um, it's about really trusting that inner wisdom and really tapping into that and allowing it to lead you forward. So that's going to be a big thing for you. And you guys, I just... Um, if you are not subscribed to my newsletter, um, you can go to my website and subscribe if you're interested. Uh, just last week, I shared different essential oils that you can use to really balance your chakras and, and get those reinvigorated. Um, and the third eye, I think I recommended like Clary Sage and frankincense and some others. Um, if you're interested in that, you can use um, essential oils um, and crystals and a lot of other things to really, you know, open open up those chakras, get those reinvigorated. Okay, so now I'm using a deck that I don't haven't used in quite some time. And it's the magic of you. These are really beautiful cards. Oh, interesting. So we've got a 33 and this is translucence. And this says, um, love the darkness. And so you may be um, meeting your shadow side in the coming weeks is kind of what I'm feeling. And something similar came through for Aries. So again, if some of you are on the cusp, um, you may want to watch that reading. Um, be like the goddess Persephone who descended to the underworld in the patriarchal myth. It is said she was stolen by Hades, but this is not true. The maiden of translucence has her eyes closed like the fool of the traditional tarot deck. This is the card signifying the beginning of life's next magical adventure. She is letting go and her winged bird steed is preparing to plunge into the cracked earth opening up before them. The forest branch beckons come this way. 
Um, interesting. Okay, this is about being willing to take a journey into the unknown, and it could be into your shadow side. Um, you know, discovering your shadow self, accepting your shadow self, looking at that, something, something along those lines. But this does correspond to the fool. And so it is a new beginning. And I'm really feeling this for you. And the thing is, we've seen that word magical twice in your reading. So I feel like um, there are some magical times ahead for you. And um, I love that, Taurus. You're going to be pinching yourself in disbelief. Like, this is finally happening. I've waited so long, and it's really coming true. It's, it's going to change um, your belief system is what, is what I feel. So then we've got Maximus. How can you feed others when your own table is empty? Um, this is really about self-love, you guys. Um, this says you're maxed out, and yet conversely, more is needed, more nourishment for yourself. A new idea is waiting to be cultivated. Um, so this is about really striking a balance, um, finding time to restore, to really give yourself some care and take time out um, away from others. Even if you have a partner, children, whatever, it is imperative for you to make time for yourself so that you can rejuvenate. Because you guys, if we don't give to ourselves first, then we are depleted and we can't really give to others. Um, or if we do give to others, it's to our detriment and we can't give fully to them. So this is really about taking care of yourself. Um, I want you to take this to heart because I do feel that this is a time for you really to start restoring your energy and your, your reserves um, because there are big changes coming up and you are going to be called into action. So now is the time to just kind of slow down if you can and really take great care of yourself. What was that card? The One of Keys, the Architect. Yeah, new beginning. That's about building your life the way you want. Being your own architect. And then what the last card that's coming through for you, you guys, um, this is from the Akashic Tarot. It's the number 11, which is a master number. So it's very, very significant. And this is um, the Ark of the Covenant. And I always forget what this is. I don't have it memorized. This says your karma does not rule you, you rule it. Oh, this is interesting, Taurus. When the work becomes too great, taking a rest doesn't break with your covenant. It supports it. You understand the phases of time and energy, and you work within those phases. Okay, so interesting that this is coming through right next to the Maximus card. Um, this is a message from your guides that it's time to take a break, and it's time to restore and rejuvenate and really, really take care of yourself. Um, this is about not getting pulled into emotional drama and just disconnecting from those people that bring that drama into your life. And, you know, there is a message that perhaps it's time to let go of some friends or acquaintances that are not on your level, um, that drain your battery and don't really ever give back. So I, I just feel like it's a time for you to take a serious inventory of who you are spending time with, who you're surrounding yourself with. And these people may not be in your inner circle, but if you are, um, you know, connecting with them in any way, however minor, um, it may be time to just draw a line in the sand is kind of what I'm feeling. Um, 
So this is about continuing to work toward your highest purpose, to uphold the sacred covenant you have to touch the world with your light. That's beautiful. And so for those of you, I, I'm thinking of a client in particular, um, you might be watching this. Um, he is an artist. And, you know, people love art. Um, art does light up the world. Um, I'm thinking of another client that is um, starting a soul-based business. And that's a way to uplift humanity. So this is really, that last message is really geared toward those of you that are, you know, really um, set on making changes and lifting humanity up. So take care of yourself so that you have the energy to keep bringing your light into the world. Okay, Taurus, I hope that you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am sending you guys lots and lots of love as you continue on your journey. Bye-bye.